Good evening from Bobblehead Homestead. I am Jeff. Today is Wednesday. I don't know what temperature it is right now, but it hit 94 degrees today. Sunny, no breeze, uh, high humidity. Not a great day for uh, outside activities. I did uh, little spurts of projects here and there, didn't film it. <laughs> it's just too hot, dudes. But I, and I, so I wasn't going to do a video today, but then I got an idea based on comments on my last video. Uh, some of you out there are wondering, why is this idiot digging up daffodils? And uh, so apologies to those of you who have heard this a few times, but uh, perhaps I do need to go more in depth, even deeper thoughts on raised beds. But that patch back there, that's where I've been digging up the daffodils. Next to it is a uh, future raised bed. I will be moving that over about three feet, almost exactly where the daffodils are. Um, then there's a second raised bed, so that will uh, be moved over a little bit. There'll be at least 36 inches between those two raised beds. And then there'll be two more, uh, symmetrical and a line behind these two with at least 36 inches in between them. And then on the end there will be a fifth. Uh, raised bed uh, going you know this way as opposed to this way it'll be going that way and uh, so that'll make five raised beds there and the daffodils had to go so that I could uh, do the raised beds I could just put the raised beds on top of the daffodils they would kill them and I don't want to do that dudes you know they're daffodils so you know just dig them up what am I gonna do with the daffodils that's another good question I'm giving, I'm, I'm giving them away. Come on down here. Uh, I'm giving them away. Can't sell them. Yeah, this isn't a free country anymore. Uh, don't get me started on that. I'm giving them away. I'm going to relocate them. Where am I going to relocate them? I'll do some uh, round trees out front. And um, I'll find places for them. They're daffodils. They're not going to hurt anything. Um... What else can I tell you about the raised beds? Okay, so there'll be five in here, uh, two, two, and then one at the end. And, and then I'm going to do a symmetrical raised beds on this side. Five more in the same design, two, two, and one across the end. And there will be a walking lane in between those two sets of raised beds. Uh, in that walking lane, I don't know how wide, it'll be at least four feet wide. Um, but I will use the cattle panel arches, the cattle panel trellises, all kinds of stuff you can use those for. Uh, I mean, uh, anything that needs support. Uh, tomatoes, uh, you know, I see Papa Pepper does his uh, snake gourds. Um, they have those Chinese noodle beans that are really long, loofahs. You name it, there's all kinds of vining type of stuff that can grow on those or, uh, arches. And so that will kind of be the front walkway uh, through in between five raised beds there and five raised beds there. A walkway coming up to the front porch. Where the camera is right now is basically right against my uh, front window. So that would be the view out, uh, out you know, up front, uh, what do they call it? Uh, front sidewalk whatever I won't be doing sidewalks okay but what about all this these weeds shouldn't I be mowing it I don't care there's a ton of flowers in there so uh, that's all it'll be taken care of when it gets taken care of I've got tons of wood chips so in between the raised beds and in the walking aisle what I think I will probably do is put down cardboard and wood chips that will last to keep the uh, the weeds out for you know one year and then you can just keep on doing it and then what you're doing is building soil in your walking aisles so that would be one option another option I could put uh, I've got a black and white plastic tarp something like that more permanent in in the walking paths but uh, um, I don't know uh, cardboard and wood chips are are here so then as far as filling the raised beds, my plan is to use wood and um, brush. So I've got trees that were cut down 
uh, that were encroaching on my electric line. So I have down trees back there. I need to process those into, you know, stuff that I can carry to put it in there. So I'll fill it up probably halfway with, you know, big old uh, tree trunk uh, chunks and then, you know, smaller, uh, smaller branches off of that also. And then I've got all these weeds and greenery around here. So that will be going in it also. I can basically get it up to maybe the, you know, uh, just do the top eight inches. I'll have to come up with some type of compost soil, you know, some type of mixture. But then everything below that I can get for free right here on my homestead. These are the start of the raised beds. On the workday, um, Drew from Dutch Creek Cabin was one of the instigators, and Andy from Ann and Andy's Homestead. I saw them doing the work on these. I'm sure there were a lot of other people involved, but they tore down the shed that was over there, and, uh, <laughs> and this is what the shed was built out of. So uh, what, uh, what Drew did was to bend them and yeah put two of those together and you've got a raised bed two of those together with posts that was also from that old shed you just put a post in uh in each corner and we've got the basic foundation of a raised bed those are not done the construction of those is not done what i also have those are a big pile of end boards from pine knot family farm and so that's uh yeah they brought those uh gifted those to me uh to use for raised beds or whatever so yeah what i'll be doing is i'll be running a board across um the side on the top all the way around it so that'll provide some support i'll probably do another board around the bottom all the way around it that will provide additional support and then i will probably do some type of support in the middle also to keep the uh, the middle of it from bowing out and so that will be the construction on those right where the shade and the sun meet that's uh, basically gonna be the walking path and where I'm standing will be my front deck uh, front porch uh, there will be five raised beds to the left five raised beds to the right um, and all ten of those raised beds have already been uh, bent so that they will uh, they'll go in place and they'll be symmetrical so I'll have 10 raised beds I am uh, if I can get five of them ready for next spring I'll be happy um, but the more the merrier you just never know that's gonna be a lot of work to fill those raised beds so I'm um, I'm not gonna be overly optimistic and then I can work on the others as we go but uh, I don't have to stop there we've already he's already got all of them uh, done for all ten of the raised beds and I've got uh, more space right there is where you can't see it behind the uh, behind the weeds but that's the Papa Pepper's garden bed so I've got a lot more area in here and I want to do more raised beds in there I've got the materials right here for probably another eight to ten raised beds just like the other ones so that would give me you know almost uh, 20 raised beds. I will not be painting it or doing anything. I like the rustic old tin look. Um, I don't, uh, I'm not much on appearances. I'm more for functionality. So I'm not going to be painting it or trying to keep up with any Joneses. It looks good uh, as, looks good as it is, as far as I'm concerned. Quick warning, the rest of this video may not be suitable for all viewers. The rest of this video involves my cats and a mouse. So perhaps you can imagine. So if you don't want to see uh, what happens with my cats and a mouse, uh, maybe go have a look at another one of my videos <laughs> and, uh, and forego the rest of this video. Fair warning.
Okay, I'm gonna... I'm not gonna. Am I gonna? You let it go. She got it fair and square, Bob. So that just happened. I can't script this stuff. But uh, what you didn't see is that Grumpy was way down there by the mailboxes. Grumpy is the one who caught that mouse. And Bob took it away from Grumpy. And Bob brought it all the way back here. And then Bob let it go. And Fifi is, well, I call her Fearless Fifi. She is Fearless Fifi. So, okay. <laughs> Enough on that. That topic, I apologize for those sensitive viewers that may not, uh, uh, that may be uh, impacted in a negative manner. I do, I do not mean to impact people in a negative manner. That's just life out in the country. So, uh, with that, what else can I, I can't, I'm not going to say anything else. I wasn't even going to do a video today. I'm just, um, one thing I do want to mention, you know, being able to hang out outside and watch something like that nature happen um that's i'm loving it out here you know it's just uh when you think about well i think about all the sitcoms i used to watch planning in front of a tv well you know a half an hour sitcom is only like 16 minutes is the show and the other 14 minutes are commercials so you know i so much i can go stand in the middle of the weeds that happen to have zinnias and cosmos, I can go stand in the middle of those for 15-20 uh, minutes and just watch all kinds of insects and moths and butterflies and bumblebees and, and uh, you know, stuff that I have no idea what it is. And I can enjoy that. I can come out here and enjoy the cats. Uh, I enjoy my chickens, you know, just uh, standing there uh, right at the fence and watching them for 15 minutes at a time. So. When I say take her easy, that's, you know, that's kind of what I t I'm talking about, I think. You know, every once in a while, just take her easy, stop, relax, take a look around, enjoy, uh, enjoy the things you have. And uh, so, yeah, that's, that's one of the things I'm about out here is taking her easy once in a while. And so with that, take her easy, everybody. Thanks for watching.